right now, Eyewitness Sports. I'm here at Saratoga Racecourse for opening day of the 2024 racing season. Behind me, the Grade 3 Schuylerville for two-year-old fillies just finished up. That one was won by the Queen's MG, played $91 exact a box. And that race, you know, is so special because it signifies the start of the racing season here at Saratoga. But let's take a look at some of the other Grade 1s slated for this summer. This Saturday will be the first official grade one of the meet. Grade one meeting largest purse and highest earnings. The Diana will be run at a mile and an eighth on the turf. This one specifically is for fillies and mares, which are female horses, as I mentioned, four years old or older. Another big race that must be highlighted if we're talking about Saratoga summer meet is the grade one Whitney Stakes, named after the great Mary Lou Whitney, who was an owner and a tremendous horsewoman. The $1 million race will be run at a mile and an eighth over the dirt track here. This one, however, is for older horses, four years old and up. This also categorizes as a win and you're in for the Breeders' Cup Racing Festival, which includes all the best horses in the world. After a few weeks comes the Alabama Stakes presented by Keeneland Sales. This $600,000 race is a great placement for three-year-old fillies. We could see the likes of Torpedo Anna, who won the Kentucky Oaks, the equivalent of the Kentucky Derby for female horses. This one is run at a mile and a quarter over the dirt track. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the highlight feature of the meet, the DraftKings Travers on August 24th. This $1.25 million race will feature some of the best three-year-olds in the country. We could see the likes of Mystic Dan, the winner of the Kentucky Derby, Seize the Gray, the winner of the Preakness Stakes, or even the winner of the Belmont Stakes, which is Doorknock. And finally, to close out the meet on Monday, September 2nd, which is Labor Day, will be the Grade 1 Hopeful featuring two-year-old horses. It's a great way to close out the meet with a competitive two-year-old race. But aside from the racing here at Saratoga, the atmosphere is second to none. I'm just so glad that our Eyewitness Sports team got up here to cover opening day. But for now, I'll send it back to Thomas in studio. I agree. The atmosphere out there looks great. Hope you had fun, Gretchen. Coming up next, the CDC is warning about new cases of an infectious disease in New York State. We'll bring you the details right after this.